everyone! Welcome to my very first YouTube videos on Meta Ideas. I'm Tina, your host. Today I'm gonna teach you how to create 3D inflated graphics with Adobe Illustrator. I found this trend on Etsy and I truly think it's just about to explode. This inflated graphic look amazing, so stay tuned to learn how to make your new money-making graphics for yourself. So let's go ahead and first of all, let's open a new file in Adobe Illustrator. Click on File, New, and set your sizing. If you want to copy mine, I set mine for 1000 pixel by 1000 pixel, RGB color, and 300 ppi. When you're ready, press Create. Let's create a shape. Let's make a circle to begin with. So go down to your Shape tool, right click, and select Ellipse tool. Holding the Shift key, Drag your mouse and create a circle. You can then use the select tool and move it around on your page. Once you are happy with the positioning, you can change the color. Go on the color option here on the left, double click and choose your color. Once you've chosen your color, go back to your shape tool, right click again and choose the start tool. Always holding your shift key, drag your mouse to create the shape of a star. With the select tool, drag your star in the middle of the circle, and you might have to reduce the star size a little bit. Once you're happy with the positioning, go to the direct selection tool, click on the star, and then drag the points in to make the points more rounded. Once you're happy with it, if you like, you can choose the color of the star. So we'll go ahead and do that. Remember to click on the star and double click on the color tool. Once you're happy with it, drag your mouse across and select both objects, right click and group. Once everything is grouped, go to Effect, 3D and Materials and then choose Inflate you will see the shapes will change straight away. Here we go. This is already a nice effect. However, we are not done yet. Let's go ahead and add some effects to this little star. Choose materials, default, and then properties. As you can see, I have no option coming down because I forgot to select the object. Always make sure to select it like I'm doing now. And you will see here at the bottom, I have now the opportunity to change the roughness and the metallic effect. I will change the roughness to zero and the metallic effect to about 0.2. As you can see, we already have a very shiny effect on our shapes. Let's add some more lighting effect to our shapes by selecting the shape, go on lighting, top left, and then Let's play around with these settings. I really like to change the height of the lighting, so we'll go ahead and put it about 65 degrees. And here we go. How cool is this? We have our nice little star, a 3D effect, and that inflated cool effect that is all over Etsy at the moment. But you are not done yet. Select your objects again, Click on the drop down menu, click on ray tracing and quality. I choose medium. If you have a very powerful computer, go ahead and choose high. However, I found that with my laptop, medium is the best setting. Then click on reduce noise, like I have selected here, and render. In a couple of seconds, you will see the changes to our shapes. And here you go, you got your very own inflated star. How cool is this? If you would like for me to make more videos about how to apply text to the shapes and what kind of other settings you can use, uh, the different materials you can use to um, get different results, please let me know in the comment below. Make sure to like and subscribe if you got anything useful after this video and I hope to see you soon. Bye.